Hello, time for another Man in Great book for you. Today's book is On Cats by Charles Bukowski, which was published by Echo Press in 2015. It's 128 pages. Charles Bukowski was a novelist and poet born in Germany, but who grew up in California, particularly in Los Angeles. And he's probably considered, I would think, the bad boy of American poetry. Uh, he tended to write about the seedier sides of Los Angeles life. Most of his poetry is about getting drunk, uh, having random sex with women he barely knew, blowing his paycheck at the racetrack, uh, smoking, getting into bar fights, vomiting, and having hangovers. But there was another side to Charles Bukowski, because in addition to his hyper-testosterone-fueled writing, he was also a cat lover, uh, and he had cats around him his whole life. And this book collects some of his best cat poems and short prose pieces. And it's in these poems that you see Bukowski's sense of humor, his self-depreciation, and a little bit more of his humanity. I'm going to read one of them to you now so you can get kind of a sense of what uh, Bukowski was like when he was writing about felines. This poem is called The Devious Good of Rescuing the Suffering. One very thin and nervous like a starving musician. I fed him well, and he has gotten fat like a Texas oil man, and not so nervous, but still odd. Asleep in bed, I will awaken, and his nose will be touching my nose, and those yellow great eyes pouring down into what's left of my soul. And then I will say, off, bastard, get your nose away from my nose. Purring like a spider full of flies, he will walk off a little. I was in the bathtub yesterday, and he came walking in, high on his feet, tail flicking, and I am there smoking a cigar and reading The New Yorker. And he leaped up on the edge of the tub, balancing on the slippery ivory, curving, and I told him, Sir, you are a cat, and cats don't like water. But he went round to the faucets, and he hung there with his black feet, and the other part of him was head down, sniffing at the water, and the water was hot, and he started drinking it. The thin red tongue, bashful and miraculous, dipping into the hot water, and he kept sniffing, wondering what I was doing in there, what I found so good about it. And then that fat white fool fell in. We all came out of there, wet and fast, cat, me, cigar, and the New Yorker, spitting, screaming, sputtering, soaked, and my wife ran in. My God, what happened? What happened? I spoke through my unraveling cigar. A man can't ha even have a little privacy in his own bathtub, that's what. She only laughed at us, and the cat was not even angry. He was still wet and fat, except for his tail, which now looked like uh, almost, it was now looked almost as thin as a rat's tail and very sad. And he began licking himself. I used a towel and I walked into the bedroom and got into bed and tried to find my place in the magazine. But the good mood was broken. I put the publication down and stared up at the ceiling into the space where God was supposed to be. And then I heard it. Meow. The next stray cat who comes to my door will remain a stray. So that's one of the examples of cat poetry from Charles Bukowski. If you're a cat lover, or if you're a fan of Charles Bukowski's writing, or if you're just a poetry fan, I'm sure you'll enjoy this book, On Cats by Charles Bukowski. This has been another Man in Great Book Review. Thanks for watching.